Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay. Right. It's time for the draw. Joe Bain here, and we're looking to see who will be playing who this Saturday at Lead Belt Arena. We've already got one matchup in the bag here. Tom and Ruben requested to play against each other, and it's the Dwarves versus their unholy cousins, the Chaos Dwarves. So that is our first matchup. But the rest will be decided at random. And then for game two, we'll add uh, Tom and Ruben back into the mix, and then we'll see what comes out then. So, a few little things before we get started on this. Um, I've been, I'm going great lizards. Will Leg has switched to high elves. Um, Mark Prentice, Bretts, Nick, Bretts, Ruben Dwarves, Daniel Winter with the Ogres. Robbie Hill has decided Vampire Counts. I'm not sure whether he's going for a Lamian variety for the extra uh, spice there or Nakraka. So we'll see if he goes magic or sexy vamps. Well, all vamps are sexy. Come on, let's, let's be serious here. Uh, Chaos Dwarves Tom. Uh, I think it's Beastman for Kieran. I didn't look at his list yet. I need to do that. Um, but I think it's Beastman for Kieran, but it's some form of chaos. Ed O'Brien, Colt Slanesh. Um, also getting in there on the uh, um, sexiness and the... Well, depends what you like, really. Uh, chaos Mortals, Matthew Pell there. And Jonathan Goldfinch decided Chaos Dwarfs wasn't for him in the end. He's... Uh, He's sided with the freed slaves, the orcs and goblins, and he's going to go with those. I think he's going for the extra fun factor. And Chris White is our reserve player. Unfortunately, we didn't find a 14th player for Chris, so he's still um, waiting on that. But he'll be there just in case someone can't make it on the day, and he's bringing Demonic Legion of Corn, I believe. So, let's start off. So, the first game, we're going to have these... Um, six here uh, versus uh, these six here in the first game. So I've split you up. And uh, amazingly, I found pictures online of all you guys in your army's costumes. So how about that? So we've got um, the evilish people here and then uh, the forces of good on this side here. So we'll see what happens there. So let us spin the wheel and see what we get. Okay, we've got Will Leg, the High Elves, versus sporting his lion there. There is a white lion. And um, on the evil team. It's Kieran's Chaos. Okay, so we'll lock that in. Woo, Kieran Chaos. Okay, so... Let's carefully put this in. Little match up there. Uh, right. Okay. So stop this happening again. Uh, oh. Okay. We'll just keep going like this. Right. Let's hope it's not Will. If it is, we'll spin again. I could remove him, but then I have to put everyone back. It's not going to be Will. It's Mark's Bretts. Brilliant. And on the evil team. Sod's Law. No, it's going to be Matthew. Hooray, Matthew Chaos. Right, so, Mark's Bretts. Matthew's Chaos. Sporting brilliant costumes there, you two. Well done. Um, so, uh, this is... We're going to hit some problems in a second, but we'll keep going while it's still going good. I'll tell you what, if it hits someone we've already hit, we'll just go to the next person up. Oh, it's me! Hooray! Made that costume the other day. Brilliant costume. Uh, and then on this side, who will I be playing? Oh, so we've had Kieran. So it will go to Matthew. We've had Matthew. So it looks like the next person round is Jonathan Goldfinch. So that's Jonathan Goldfinch. Ah, the spin doesn't count. Quick, get off that. Right, so it's Jonathan Goldfinch versus me. Brilliant. Walks and Goblins versus... The Great Lizards. 
Hilarious. Okay, cool. So we'll go uh, to the next one. And again, if it hits someone, we'll work our way round to the top. So me, we've had me. Will, we've had Will. Mark, we've had. So this is Nick Bretts. So let's lock that in before I forget. Okay, Nick Bretts versus... Not that. Uh, let's see. Nick Bretts versus... Well, we've had Jonathan, if it stops there. We've had Ed? No, I don't think we've had Ed. Yeah, it's, so Nick Bretts versus Ed's Cult of Slanesh. Okay, good. Um, uh, and then that leaves these two left. So uh, it is Daniel Winter's Ogres, led by Sc Scrag the Scrag the Slaughterer, something like that. I've forgotten his name. The special character Ogre. Um, and then these two are already playing each other. Oh. Okay, great. So that is the first draw. So now we will add in Tom and Ruben into these uh, wheels. And then we will do that again. And this time I'll be able to remove people as they as we go. So let's add in uh, Tom. And don't you worry, Tom. We've got a picture for you as well. It took me a long time to find this picture of Tom online. Um... Where's he gone? There he is. But uh, we eventually got there. Found a found a picture of him in full costume. Um, and on this side, we have Reuben to add in. Uh, so let's put Reuben in. And it, we also found a picture of Reuben. Of course we did. There he is in full Slayer outfit. Brilliant. Okay, so it is now the draw for the second game of the day. So we will draw from the good team first. Oh, I put Tom. Yeah, it's the right put. It's the right way around. Okay, great. Let's go. Blah, 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 blah. Who will it be? It's Robbie's VC. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so where are you, Robbie? Here. Let's put you in there. And you will be playing against... The illustrious, the indomitable, Reuben. Hooray! Okay, so dwarfs versus vamps. Sounds pretty cool. There he is, Reuben. Enter the draw. He's already there. Okay, great. So we will take out Reuben now. Bosh. And we will take out Robbie. Take you out, Robbie. Uh, there should be a button here. Where did that button go? Hmm? Oh, it was easy on this one. How do we do it on this one? Oh, there was a little X. Where's my little X gone? Okay. Uh, don't know what's happened here. Um... Hmm. Yes, my little X has disappeared. Okay, we'll just have to skip it. I don't know why it's done that. Okay, technical difficulties. We'll move on. Right, Tom. Tom, you are playing... Uh, well, let's find out. Tom, you're going to be playing... Mmm, one of the Bretts, it's Nick. Nick Martell. Uh, I, I think I just removed the wrong Brett. Oh well, Nick, you're now Mark. Let's put Mark in here. Boom. Okay. Uh, so, that was Nick Martell. Where are you, Nick Martell? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, here you are. Good. Over against the Chaos Dwarves. Um, next one. Let's do the good people first. Well, good, ostensibly good. <laughs> Traditionally. Ah, great lizards. Traditionally good. Of course they are. So I will be playing someone um, on, this, on this wheel. Let's have a look. 
Oh, we've got to remove Tom. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well, it's not Tom. It's Ed, Ed O'Brien. Okay, great. Rumble in the jungle, Ed O'Brien. It's been a while since we played Ed. Since you, since you moved away. <laughs> okay. But I'm not bitter. Um, oh, what's happened here? That should be me. Uh, da, da, da. Must have just copied the wrong bit. There we go. Good. Um, yes, yes, right. Let's get rid of get rid of me. Only three left. Let's get rid of the rest of these jokers. Ah, and Tom gone. Okay, good. Uh, so let's spin this one because this is the one that's going to be difficult because it's bound to land on something we didn't want. Oh, there, there we go. It's Jonathan. Jonathan Sorks and Goblins. Woo hey. Here they are, the orcs and goblins. Okay, and you're going to be up against. It's Daniel's ogres. Orcs and goblins versus ogres. Who could want for more? Brilliant. There we go. That's that's what's been decided. Uh, which means, one, two, three, four. Oh, no, we still do have one more. Okay. Let's take out the ogres. Bomf. Okay, and... Uh, Yes, yes, well done. Yes, we know about you. Um, right, so it's just chaos left here. So uh, let's hope for a chaotic result. Oh, look look at that. We're going to talk about good spinning. Um, so that is Kieran. No, I can't, I can't see. No, it's definitely Matthew. Okay, Matthew. Matthew, your fate will be decided momentarily. Ooh. Okay, Matthew versus Will. Wait, we, we haven't had that. No, good. Okay, so Will here, Matthew here. It's a good job you didn't get um Mark, actually, because uh, you'd already played him. So that's good. Right, we'll take... Oh, oh, well, we know it's Mark left anyway. Right, so it's Mark versus Kieran. Mark, Kieran, Kieran, Kieran. Ah, oh, here we go. Kieran, well done, Kieran. Okay, so putting you in there. And that's it for the day. So we have uh, these matchups. I'm not going to read them all out. Um, and then, and this is some rough timings. 10.30 is when it opens. 10.30 to 1.30 first game. Um, that's going to be... The one with hidden deployment. So I've got a washing line and I've got some sheets to hang on it to hide the deployment. So that's gonna be hilarious. So we're gonna have that across the uh across the arena. And then um game two uh is the one where your army can break. Um I'm racking my brains, I've momentarily forgotten, but it's not to do with standards, it's to do with something else. So I'll print, make printouts of those. But yeah, it's a it's an old world scenario. One of the new ones they released, which I just thought, well, this looks cool. Let's try it out in sixth edition, because that's the proper way to do things. And uh, no, I'm I'm loving old world. I just haven't played it enough yet. And then over here we have the tournament of death. Um, I'm probably going to have to field a um, lizard man character, I guess, because the great lizards don't have characters um but yeah everyone else is going to field a character from their army hopefully don't forget there's some additional rules here it's on foot only uh there's no mounts if you're a character like the bretonians you don't have to take the virtue of empathy um to be on foot don't worry about it because it's a tournament you're you're on foot anyway uh, so you don't need the virtue of empathy uh, no special characters no greater demons but other than that, it's just make a character f up from your standard army list. Um, or for whatever army list you're using, make a character up from that uh, with their with their uh, magic items or whatever. And then you basically fight a combat where it just keeps going on and on until um, someone uh, dies, basically. And in the very first round, 
you see who gets the charge by doing a roll off and then after subsequent rounds of course it then goes on initiative as per the rules um and if you if there's any psychology tests then they're taken at the start of the battle so if there's fear or stupidity they're taken at the start of the battle and they'll last for one round so so in the very first round if you fail your fear test then you're hitting on sixes um there's no auto break if they outnumber you uh i think that covers everything uh, oh yeah the tournament counts as a challenge for the purpose of items so all those items which are you know challenge only they all work so yeah let's see let's see what you get um i've only put five people in there but i'm hoping everyone will play i just haven't transferred the names across yet and um even if uh everyone turns up chris you can definitely play in the tournament of death because we will just do a buy for someone each round uh, for the odd number of players which is which is what we did last time and it worked great so hopefully that'll be cool and um i put 515 to 545 it'll only take that won't take very long uh and that'll close out the day um i would say at this point like whether we'd go for a drink or not but i'm getting a lift with william leg so really it's all down to him for <laughs> whether we stay for that or not or whether we like go somewhere but um yeah the day should finish around about 6 p.m and then if people want to go out for a drink there's nothing stopping you so looking forward to seeing you all this weekend on saturday 10 30 lead belt arena um yeah see you there